let's have a quick best practice session and we're going to talk about the best way to declare an Angular module in our application. In the example that we have been using so far, I've always assigned the angular.module to a global variable in our scope, and as you might know, globals are never a good thing. So we're going to refactor our code and we will get rid of this bad global variable. First of all, we can remove the, from the first line the variable and we'll just use angular.module, my first app and the empty square brackets. That's because the Angular uh, instance is already declared in the global scope. So we can just use a setter function like this one and this will actually create our module. Now we can no longer uh, reference our module by using the variable name. So what we have to do now is uh, create the, our factory and our controller. To do so, we can actually remove this semicolon and just append dot .factory in here after our module declaration because every time we do that, uh, the instance of the module we just declared will be returned so we can always reference that object. In the same way, in here, line 11, we do dot .controller. That's basically it. We are, we are setting our uh, module and then we are concatenating uh, .factory and .controller. So let's save our code, let's refresh our application. It still works, so nothing really changed. Let's see if everything works fine. We're happy about that, aren't we? So as you can see, it's very easy and I suggest you guys to go towards this solution more than using global variables. I want to show you something else, which is actually how to uh, get our module. So let's create a new file and let's see that we want to create a new controller. Actually, we'll do something better. We'll move our controller from the app.js into another file called controller.js. So we, create, we can create it. And in here, we just copy this first line and we'll get rid of the square brackets. So whenever you write angular.module and just the name of your module, you're, uh, you're using a getter. If you add a comma and you use the square brackets, you are declaring a module. So what we can do here is do dot controller. You can copy the one we have already in here. Bam, we save this file. We'll put that here. So we save it. We'll call it controller.js. We'll include it in our application, in our template actually. SRC. Oop. Controller.js. That's it. Let's save it and let's refresh our application. Again, nothing really changed it. Everything is still working fine. We have moved our controller away from the app.js and we are moving towards a proper directory structure. We will have a full lesson about the best way to structure your directories in an Angular application. So I hope that you enjoyed this small best practice session and there will be more uh, during the course and I hope that you start using all of them one by one.